if you want to give women in your arms and your bed, then you need to get what's in their heads. Before I started my dating journey, all I knew about girls was that they were boys and they had girly interests like Barbie dolls and Taylor Swift. I have a mother and a sister, but I didn't take the time to understand them any more than that. So when I first started talking to girls that I was interested in during high school, I was awkward as hell. I would come out of the woodworks, talk about random stuff I was into, and think that was good enough to have a chance at something. But they didn't, and I was discouraged from trying that type of stuff again. And that stuck with me until my last year of college when I decided to give Tinder a shot with a meme profile. Things started off promising when I got along quite well with my first match, but once I messed that up, I lost a lot of that initial optimism that I had. Now I knew things weren't going to be as easy as it seemed. I had no idea what the hell I was doing the first couple of years I was on the apps, and because of that, every match that I had potential with amounted to basically nothing. And slowly but surely, I started building up some negative feelings. Anger. Resentment. Hatred. I was tired of getting handed the short end of the stick. I didn't exactly hate the women I was dealing with, but I hated how irrational they were, how they were nonsensical and could change how they felt in the blink of an eye. And I hated how inconsistent they were. I could have a great interaction with a girl here and then a complete BS one right after. I could line things up for a proper reaction and then get something utterly nonsensical. Imagine talking to a chick with a single back and forth each day for a week straight and when you ask her out on that last day, she says she doesn't do that type of stuff. I damn near threw my phone at the wall from that. But what I didn't realize was that all of this negativity was affecting me and my ability to be around other people. Girls would blow up date plans and instead of being cool, I would respond negatively. I would take over conversations with friends to voice my lack of success because I had no other outlet for it. I would play in hangouts too frequently with some of my closest friends because I was lonely and ended up pushing them away. I became that single guy who was trying to be slick with other single girls in social events because I had limited options. But if we were to really think about it, the whole reason behind all of this madness was because I didn't get women, literally and metaphorically. I didn't understand their feelings. I didn't understand how there were certain things that I was doing that made them uncomfortable. I didn't understand that I had to treat them much differently than my male friends. And I didn't understand that I had to take responsibility for these interactions and lead them to where we wanted to go. And the thing is, I talked to a lot of guys who are or were in this similar position. And these are guys who are normal and good. They can communicate well, take care of themselves, and can treat others nicely. But when it comes to women, they get lost and start overthinking and overreacting to simple situations. And this feeling of confusion and negativity is completely relatable. What I ultimately learned before I started finding consistent success with women is that there is a process you have to take them through to get emotional buy-in. There's going to be a lot of work on your end to start, and there's going to be a lot of work to do as it happens. It's all about calibration. You do your best to create appeal for yourself and then cultivate interest if it's there. I take each interaction individually and do my best to not carry any negative attitudes from others over. And the whole process I built for myself is all about taking in what I get and seeing if I can move things forward. If a girl doesn't want to follow along at any point, then it is what it is. It just becomes a learning experience. But you need to be mindful about going through this so you can get to where you want. Because if you're just going to keep doing the same things over and over, you're just going to keep failing. So I had to grow some balls and start trying out some new moves. And as I kept getting more reps in, I was starting to see more of what worked and what didn't until I finally completed a full dating experience. And once you reach that point, it's no longer a game of desperation. You found a way to break through. Now it's time to optimize it for better options and better interactions. There's a reason why one of my mantras is confidence through competence. Because once you get good at something, you basically alleviate all of that stress that came before that point. When you're no longer concerned about whether you can get dates or not, you become a lot more relaxed. But most notably, this mental shift allows you to be more sensible and make better decisions in your interactions. Things become easier for you and you get better results as well. And this is the type of stuff you notice from guys that figure it out and are able to get women easily or manage to get themselves into a relationship. They're sorted out. They're cool and collected. Minus the issues they get from their girls, they're able to focus on the other things in their lives, and their views on life usually mature as well. These are the types of mental shifts I noticed from guys that used to struggle before they figured things out. They get to finally be themselves and be happy. I can't stress how important it is that as a guy, you need to understand women to get them. You can't be ignorant anymore. Every moment not acknowledging that you don't understand women is wasted time. Getting exposed and rejected, especially when you're still young, is a great thing because now you know what you need to work on. Now you can see the road to improvement. If you're spending time being angry and bitter, then you're not spending time becoming better. 
I'm sure that most of the guys who feel that way deep down actually do want to date their ideal women, but they can't accept that what they're thinking and doing won't get them there. Trust me, I've been there. So just remember, if you want to get women literally, you also have to get them metaphorically. Understand their feelings, learn why they do what they do, and then mold yourself into someone they can feel comfortable with. Because remember, it's your life that will change for the better when you finally get who you want. And that's it for this video. If you're still here, I appreciate you as always. And you should like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to sign up for my exclusive community to get based in more dates and apply to work with me if you want the fast track to getting your dating life sorted out. And as always, stay based. And when you get women here, you can get women there. Goodbye.